best how to paint a Lexan RC car body. You have the body mounts, those are stock, and this is a Proline uh, set of risers. And of course, you have the Proline Lexan body. Now, first, you want to remove the body from the plastic, set aside your decal set for now. Get you a brand new X-Acto blade. You're going to lay out a piece of contrasting ground cloth like uh, white or black. And right now you just practice scribing around the base of your Lexan. This way you get uh, good practice so that you can do your wheel wells real evenly. But you see, all you have to do is scribe along the surface of the Lexan, and when you bend it, it easily breaks clear. So that's what we're doing as we work our way all the way around the body. Now you can just run your lines around the base. You're going to trim all that extra off. I also have a pair of Lexan shears that you can buy at the hobby shop, and they're real good for rounding corners. Throw all your pieces of plastic into the bag and trash it. Now we're using the Lexan shears to do a little trimming. Next we want to mount our body kit so we remove the screws from the stock kit and we get screws and sprue to mount the uh, various pieces but first we want to clean them, clean the flashing off now we're marking the body with a reamer tool, which you can buy at the hobby shop, to open the holes. And now that those risers are mounted, we're going back and loosening the, uh, the riser pins. And we're making adjustments to the height of the body and looking for clearance issues. You want to get as much as, if not all of, this done before you paint the body because that way you don't have to trim on it after it's painted. You can see a little extra trimming here and there. Take off as little as possible, but make sure you have good clearance. Lots of trial fitting, and now I'm tightening up the screws to final. Now you're ready to wash the inside of your Lexan because that's where you're going to paint from the inside. The reason for that is the outside can get scuffed but it won't touch your paint. Your paint's on the inside of the Lexan. Now this is the Bob De Lively liquid masking film that I was using. You can always use Primer brand. You can get it at your local hobby shop. A small inexpensive brush and you're kind of dab painting it. The consistency is like a thinned Elmer's glue and you just want to dab it on good and thick and this is the first coat. Now that it's dried it's practically clear and that's overnight. So now I'm ready for a second coat. So I'm just dabbing it on as I did the first coat, making it thick, and then you're going to let that dry and do a third coat. Because the thicker the masking film it is, the easier it is to remove and the easier it is to trim. Now that's the third coat. So you can see it's clear, but it's starting to get that real filmy look. Real hazy. And that's the third coat. Now once the third coat's completed, you're ready to trim your items out. 
the first thing you're going to trim out is your dark areas around the headlights you're going to create a opening for the grill and you just take your exacto knife and gently slide it along the surface without pushing down too hard because you're not wanting to scribe the lexan you're just wanting to cut through the uh, the film and then you kind of pick at it and pull that film off after you get and that exposes the surface of the lexan you go ahead and do that for your windows but don't remove the windows but you do go ahead and scribe everything that you're going to pull off because that way you can pull them off in the proper stages your darkest colors first your second colors and then a third color and then a final protective color if you wish See, I'm removing the I'm picking at it and then carefully removing those are the black grills so we want to remove those because we're going to spray those black so the film is covering it all over the inside of the body that we do not want to paint and there it is being removed where I do want to paint and that's another little air scoop on the side of the truck to let it be black so now we're ready we spray the black Now we're going back and trimming around the uh, fender flares. And we're pulling out the areas now of the body that we want to keep and as you can see our black stays behind so we're just painting in reverse from the inside out so we remove that film and the three coats made it so easy to peel that film away now we're leaving the windows black because that's the last thing we remove and with the windows we can use a little bit of spray tint to make the windows look tinted. So now we're ready for our body color. So we start in with some light coats and we're just using Parma Lexan paint in the small cans that you get at the hobby shop. They're not the best. An airbrush is best. But for this demonstration we just used uh, over-the-counter spray cans. So around the windows you can see that the mask is left on. It, it looks black but the bed is permanent black so that's the actual paint on the Lexan. And we're going to let that dry and then come back and add another coat. Now we're going to put a silver, a final coat of silver, and so we're removing the fender flares that we cut out. And that's the masking for the fender flares.
You can also do real fine details and do like a, create an illusion of uh, silver metal trim around the window frames. This we just did the fender flares. So now we're painting the whole of the inside silver and that's really going to be our final protective coat. So now we're going back and removing the mask on the windshields. Now notice that sticker that you see, that's on the outside. That's the protective cover that comes with the, the body and it is a clear film. Now we're removing it once we can get a little handle on it. And it was very tightly, almost not noticeable, very tightly uh, shrink wrap to the surface of that Lexan and that's really reveals the gloss of the pure Lexan body so that mask was on there when we bought the uh, body and there it goes that's your finished body right there now you're ready for stickers So you carefully cut your stickers out. You can use your little Lexan trimming uh, scissors and you want to create rounded edges. Don't cut anything out that has a, a sharp edge because it can be it can peel loose. So anytime you cut the sticker you cut a rounded edges on everything. This is the Ford grill. That's an F100 Ford body, by the way. Now the body is set on, and of course all the, the body riser kit has been adjusted. And everything is ready just to put the screws on. And you can see the windows are tinted and what was done there was just a, uh, a can of uh, Lexan tint film or tent, window tint spray it was just gently sprayed into the silver. And what that does is give the uh, illusion of tinted windows. If you look at it real close the, the uh, tint film or tint spray is not real consistent but when you stand back from it, it looks quite good. It looks like a tinted window. When you get real close to it, you can see the paint uh, imperfections. Okay, there we go. Full clearance. Lots of bashing. And now you have what looks like a slash four-wheel drive, when in essence it's the inexpensive 2WD, the two-wheel drive uh, slash. And it's not perfect. I don't paint every day. I just wanted to show the process. If it helps anyone out, I'm very happy about it. Notice the fender flares are silver. Thanks for watching.